Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this week's project, I'll be making two more Christmas DIYs, starting off with these wood blocks and this wood glue. I'm creating the foundation to my staircase bookends. I started off by gluing 12 blocks together. Now I'm adding more glue to all of the blocks except for one. The block with no glue will be the first step to my staircase. One, two, three, four, and this is the fifth step. And I'm gonna put glue on the block behind that and I'm gonna continue until I reach the top. So for every row, you wanna put glue on the block behind the first one to give it that stairway effect. If you are following along, you should have something that looks like this. I made two bookends for each side of my books and this is a Lazy Susan that I got from Dollar Tree a while ago in the $5 plus owl. I'm using my silver metallic spray paint to cover everything. I'm also spray painting these three books that I got from Dollar Tree and also these straws that I purchased from Amazon a while back. I placed my straws on my homemade stand so it can be easier for me to spray paint them. I'm using these two different size mirror tiles. These small ones will go on the side and these big ones will be on the steps. I'm putting them in place before gluing them down. It's better to apply the glue directly to the blocks. Now I'm gluing four of the smaller mirror tiles along the sides. I searched high and low for the popular reindeers and could not find them, so I had to settle for these ones that I purchased from Amazon. These flying plastic reindeers were actually perfect for my bookends since they look like they are running up the stairs. I'm decorating my books with my silver metallic tape. I'm basically placing three strips along the sides to cover up the title of the books. I'm also adding glue to the ends so they can stick better. If you are going to recreate this, then I suggest using a sealant to seal the spray paint. Now I'm using these Crafter Square foil stickers that I purchased from Dollar Tree, spelling out the words joy, peace, and love. I'm adding this mirror to the top book and also a beaded necklace to finish off the decoration. I'm loving how these bookends turned out. These reindeers were an absolute perfect fit for them. Comment down below what y'all think. I added some gems that I purchased from the Dollar Tree on top of my books just to give it a more glamorous look. Comment down below what y'all think. I love this look as well. Simple, but yet elegant. For project number two, I'm using this 12 by 12 Recollections glitter paper that I purchased from Michaels and I'm going to use this to cover up my Lazy Susan. I'm cutting off the pieces that's hanging over. I'm trimming it to make the edges more straighter. It should look like this and now I'm just going to glue it to my Lazy Susan. I'm gluing this beaded necklace around the perimeter. These crystal clear drawer knobs will be the foundation for my reindeers. Now 
Now it's time to glue my reindeers down and I'm only placing glue on the bottom center of all the reindeers. I'm also making sure the back legs are touching the glitter paper. I'm going to set this to the side while I work on the top. I got this tray from Dollar Tree a while ago, which I previously spray painted with my silver metallic spray paint. And I'm just going to remove this tag before proceeding. I'm using that same glitter paper and my silver Sharpie to draw a circle. It's not perfect, but I'm going to make it work. It doesn't fit, so I'll have to keep trimming it until it fits inside. It finally fits, and I'm going to use my scissors to poke a hole in the center so I can know where to place my drawer knob. Now I'm using more beaded necklaces to go around the perimeter of the glitter paper to hide the imperfections. This is an old aluminum foil roll which I previously spray painted and covered with this Mod Podge in silver glitter. I know these straws aren't fully covered, but that's okay because you won't be able to tell. I'm just following the line along the aluminum foil roll and I'm gluing the beaded necklace from one end to the other. I'm repeating those same exact steps for my straws. No need to put glue on the entire straw. You can simply just twist it and glue the ends down. So now I'm taking the top to my merry-go-round and I'm going to glue the aluminum foil roll right in the center. Glue the other end to the aluminum foil roll to the bottom part. Add more glue for more stability. This part was fairly simple. All I'm doing is putting glue on one end of the straw and then placing it almost in the middle of the deer's back, holding it in place until the glue dries and then putting glue on the top and holding that on top of the merry-go-round until that dries. I'm using these three push lights to finish off my project. Just look at how glamorous my merry-go-round is. I did add a beaded necklace along the top to make it look more realistic and I love it. But comment your thoughts below, like and share. And if you're curious to see what I come up with next, just subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I upload a new video.